Okay, so 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 a rookie would start cutting into this right here. Okay, that, that, that's a rookie move, right? You don't want to do that. There's three parts to this. Four with the bone. Okay, so what you want to do is first you want to take the, the take the the steak off of the bone itself right here. Okay, after letting it rest. Okay, right, and then that's going to go. I'm going to put that right here. Okay, right there, right. So now there's three parts here. There's the tail. That's going to come off. There's the cap. That's going to roll off right here at the top, okay? And then there's the eye. So these are the three parts. They're all very, very different, right? And they all have different textures, and it's kind of a fun part of the conversation. Okay, so we're going to put these aside. The eye is going to get sliced first, okay? Right? Guys, is this a California farm to table small plates? I don't think so. Right? So this is this is like this is this is evergreen and and easy to communicate and easy for everybody to understand. So so when when people say, hey, what kind of food do you cook, right? Um, they they're they're not looking for you for some sort of com, com, uh, complicated convoluted expression of culinary world that they don't understand, right? Well, I'm kind of into like California's small plates and, you know, like farm to table, you know what I mean? Or like, nope, right? Like I cook steak, they're like, oh yeah, I'll be there tomorrow night. <laughs> Let me give you some money, you know what I mean? That's where you want to be in life, okay? So we're gonna take this, and obviously guys, I apologize, it's still a little hot. I would've let this rest a little more, right? Okay, so we're gonna wrap this around the bone. See that? Presentation standpoint, okay? Thank you, bud. If we let, because in an ideal situation, we'll let this rest a little more, that it doesn't bleed up much on the plate. Okay. okay. Now, the next thing is the cap. This is my favorite part. Okay. So we're going to slice this off into pieces. Now, if you drop this on the table because of um, how, how, uh, uh, how much intramuscular fat development is in the cap itself, this is going to cook a little faster. So this is going to be almost like short rib or pot roast. Right, so for the folks that like it well done, this is your cut, okay? So we're gonna take this, and again, take up, take up your stacks, right? You don't wanna pile it up like it's like tidbits. You still wanna keep the presentation flow, okay? So keep the, keep the nice presentation pieces here. All right, and we're gonna wrap this up on this side, okay? Now the next part is the tail. Now this is the connoisseur, right? This is the steak lover's cut, right? This is fatty, this is delicious, okay? So we're gonna take this, we're gonna slice this up as pieces too, okay? Gonna wrap the tail in right here, okay? So you've got the full expression of the beef. You got the bone, right? Because it came off of the bone. You got the eye that's gonna be the center cut. And then you've got the two other pieces, right? So don't cut straight through it because that's a rookie move. Okay, you don't want to do that, right? And then uh, we're going to finish it in California. We call this California steak sauce. It's a really good extra virgin olive oil. Ours is uh, infused with herbs and garlic, right? California steak sauce, okay? Then we're gonna, just going to finish it with some salt. You always want to salt the cut, okay? And then we're going to finish it with chives on top. And ladies and gentlemen, this is our steak and seizure salad demo. Are you guys happy or what? Yes. All right, guys, so, so don't forget, man, you, only, you get one trip around this planet, right? You get one life to live. Don't waste it, right? And, and also something really important, too, like don't let people bring you down, right? Like you'll, you'll, and you know exactly what I'm talking about. Like sometimes it's like negative pressure, and it comes from a lot of places, and unfortunately sometimes it can come from people that are relatively close to you. They don't see your vision in life. They don't trust your judgment. They think that what you're doing it sounds kind of crazy. Um, uh, they, they, they may try to pull, pull you back into their orbit, um, because honestly, they're, they're probably a little, a little jealous of your success and your ambition, right? Because if you you succeed, it shows that they fail, right? So so don't don't let other people pull you down, okay? Sure. Sometimes if you get like people that are kind of close to you that feel like, why are you gonna go do that? You're gonna where are you gonna go? What are you doing? Right? You should, you need to stay home, right? And they're gonna tell you that, but don't listen, okay? Keep your keep your uh, ambition high, 
right? And make sure that you live your life and not theirs, okay? Uh, because you only get one chance. All right, guys. See you at the top, right? Best chefs in the country. Best chefs in the country, right? All right, guys. Thank you so much for your time.